Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. Today I have one of the nicest things to come into my home. It is a Ryzen 7 2700X AMD CPU. We're going to get it out of the box and have a look at it. We're going to install it into a PC I've built and uh, done a build uh, on before. And uh, we're going to replace the 2600 that's in it with this one because the uh, person that wanted the, to buy the computer uh, wanted it to be just a little bit more powerful. So we're going to do that. And the 2600 is going to go into an older system and beef that one up and make that even more valuable. So stay tuned. We're going to have an install on this. Let's have a look at the uh, Wraith Prism um, stock cooler that comes with it, which is pretty nice. And here we go. Okay, so this is a system that I built before. The H500 is the case. Uh, you can look that up. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, I'm going to replace the uh, CPU cooler that was here before, the Reven E12. It's, good. it's a good cooler. Um, actually better temperatures than I originally thought in the beginning. Um, so we're going to take that off. We're going to remove the uh, CPU and then we're going to put the, uh, the new uh, CPU inside. One of the things that's going to have to happen on here, when you put most aftermarket coolers, the little black brackets that come on your motherboard have to be taken off. They're just little screws, uh, two on each side. We're going to have to put those back on because the Wraith Prism uh, CPU cooler um, that comes with the uh, CPU here, um, it takes advantage of those. So you'll get a better fit. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to get it out of the box. We just had to cut that here first, just so we could get it out of the box. We'll just pull up on this. And your cooler is right here. Okay, just that whole thing is just the cooler. So it's pretty big. And that's all there is to just the CPU, just a little box. Pretty impressive little package inside here. So that's going to sit here. We're going to have a look at the CPU cooler. And what else is in the box? Let's have a look. Nothing. So we don't need that anymore. So let's get this out of the box. And it has a little bit of plastic on the top, just to keep dust and everything off. And get it out. And of course it has plastic on the bottom and the reason for that is because it has pre-applied thermal paste. Okay, we got our cable for a four pin fan and it has a uh, little cable here and that's your RGB uh, for your motherboard where we're going to plug it into the addressable header. All right, so one second here we're going to have another look at this. Okay, so something I wanted to discuss is a couple of the cables that come with your uh, Wraith Prism uh, cooler. You've got one that has a RGB, okay, which would normally go on your motherboard. And the other one is going to plug in to little openings that are on the side of your cooler. Now, you've got two cables. You've got one that's the RGB and the other one which is just standard USB. Okay, so it plugs into your motherboard with USB. And this one... We'll go in here. Now you can't mistake them because one is three and one is four pin. So you take out the one you want. Now there's a couple of schools of thought on this. Um, trying to figure out exactly, but we're going to find out when we actually go to do it. One says if you plug in just the one with the USB, plug into your motherboard, that allows the software from your motherboard that came with it to control your Wraith Prism for all the colors, inside, outside, all that kind of good stuff, all the LEDs. Now, unless there's been a software update, which we'll find out when we go ahead and do it. The other thing is if we plug in both of them, including the one for the RGB, what happens in that case is now you can't control both. One can be controlled, but not the other one or not through the software. So just wanted to point that out. We're going to start doing what has been recommended, which is just the one for the USB. We're going to plug it into the one here that's USB and then we're going to give it a try. So once we get to that point, we'll figure out which one it is that's working so that you know 
what you have to do when you install it. Okay, so I just want to mention this one more time. So, like I said, the USB header goes on the motherboard and not to uh, the RGB pin. Uh, if you have them both connected, it may not work properly. So remove the RGB cable if you got it on. And that will give you full control over the lighting effects of the cooler through AMD's Wraith Prism software. So just to be clear on that. One other thing I want to point out is you have a little switch here. H and an L. So basically what that is, is you have a high fa uh, speed fan or a low speed fan. Um, the low mode is 3000 RPM and by switching it to high it allows you to have the fan go as high as 3800 RPM. So at this point I'm going to take the CPU cooler out of the existing system and I'll show you putting the brackets back on and then we'll install the uh, cooler. Okay so one thing you have to remember is anytime you've taken off your CPU and you've removed your external CPU cooler that you had on there before, you've taken off these brackets. Okay? It has two screws and you need to be able to put them back on. But you got four holes. So you need to make sure that's why you have to keep this piece here. Alright? It's going to go on like this to line up with your holes from the back. And then you're going to be able to secure those down. All right, so don't forget about that part. Okay, so one thing I had to do is I had to hold it on the back while I put the back plate up, so you can see them here. Push this down, put your screw in, and fasten one side. Once you've got one in tight, okay, once that's in there nice and tight here, then you'll be able to put the other ones on, tighten them down, and away you go. So it's just a simple matter. Screwdriver. Make sure they're lined up, and away you go. Just put them on. And once it snugs up, don't go too hard. You don't want to cause any damage. Just carefully make sure it's on. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. Now, one thing I want to point out is the little nub has to be pointing that way, and the other one has to be pointing this way. Because when you put your cooler on, you're going to have to use those to clamp onto. So don't forget that. But, you know, if you do it wrong, well, you're just going to have to take them off and put them on the other way. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So the next thing we're going to do is put our CPU in. So you can see the little triangle here in the corner. Right, little golden triangle. And you want to line it up down here with the golden triangle in this corner here. So you just want to orient it. And you're just going to pop it down. First, make sure you push this handle. Bring it up. Because that helps you to release it. Then you're just going to... It should plop right down. Okay, it's in there nice arrows down this corner. And then you're just going to push your handle back down. Okay, make sure it goes under this little tab. Triangle is in the corner. And now we're ready to put on our uh, Wraith Prism Cooler. Okay, so my recommendation when you're putting in your Wraith Prism cooler here, okay, you better have these little tabs fastened onto these little clips. Okay, orient it so that you can plug in your fan here onto the CPU or it's a CPU fan. Okay, but more importantly, make sure that you can get to these little, um, these right here. Okay, you want to be able to get, let's focus in on this. You want to be able to get to the high and low. I'm going to switch it to high. In a minute here and you want to have these open take the little plastic thing off because once they're off uh, if you're facing toward the gpu what will help you is uh, you're not trying to get into this little space in here now to plug anything in you can just take your gpu out and you'll have more room to work with and you can change your fan here to lower high i'm like i said i'm going to change it to high it has pre-applied thermal paste all right so don't worry about that the hardest part you're going to have right now is these little clips. Okay, that clip there, there's one on both sides. And then this one, once you've got it on, has to fasten down. Okay, this one has to fasten down. So that's going to tighten it down. All right, so don't forget about that part. But I'll show you that a little bit better here in just a second. 
So in order to show this better for you, I decided what I was going to do is I took the motherboard out of the case. And that just made it a little bit easier to work with. Easier to put those clips on, be able to see better. So I went ahead and did that. You can see where this clip goes over on this side. Okay. So put this one on first. Clip it in. Then turn it around. I'm just going to show you the other side here. And then you're going to clip this in. Now one thing I noticed is this little knot handle here that you have to push from this side to this. This piece here can slide up. So I was trying to figure out why is this not fitting on. So now that I know, I probably didn't need to take it out of the case, but this little uh, piece of metal here slides all the way up, halfway up, and uh, quite a bit. So I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't go on. Well, push this down. If you happen to notice it's up and it's not setting right, push it all the way down, and then it's going to go on here pretty easy. You can see that your connector for your fan is a 4-pin. And you're going to connect it right on here. So one's a CPU fan, the other one's CPU optional. Say so you want to plug it into the one that says CPU fan. Okay, and you see where that pin lines up? Okay. Once we're done that, now we're going to have to go and put it all back in the case and everything. But first, before we do that, so like I said, right here, you've got your two different places for plugging in your cables. Okay, so this is going to be able to tuck out of the way. You're just going to be able to wrap that, put a twist tie on it down here, tuck it out of the way, and now you've got room for putting your cables in. Now, I mentioned we were going to put the USB cable in, plug that onto the motherboard. You can do it now. You can put it back in the case. I'm going to do it now just because it just might be a little bit easier. So your USB cable is the three pin, and your three pin is on this side, on the right-hand side as you look at it. And that's it. That's all there is to plugging that in. Now you just find a spot on your motherboard for your USB and plug that in. So I'm just going to leave that loose right now. Then I'll uh, just tuck it out of the way and I'll just move it down here for now, just temporarily, uh, just so it doesn't give me any grief putting it in the case. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So we're going to put it back in the case and we'll continue on. Okay, we got our motherboard back in. Everything's all hooked up. So what I did is I took the cable for the USB and I just kind of moved it along here, put it through the grommet here, ran it out of the back, up into the back of here, and plugged it into the USB right here. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Now that's going to be our first test to see if we can use the RGB uh, cable as well or will it work without it? Because some people say that the software won't control it. Um, if you plug in the RGB. No, I don't know why that is. So we're going to try it. We're going to try it with the cable for the RGB afterward. We'll see which one works. So stay with me. I'm going to hook everything up, make sure everything is good to go. And we're going to fire it up and have a look at it. Okay, so everything is up and running. You can see the uh, Prism Wraith cooler. And it's going through its own cycles and everything right now. So that's without plugging in the RGB. So we've confirmed that it will show the colors, everything's working. But can I control it with my RGB Fusion? Well, there's only one way to find out, and let's go into the software and check it out. Okay, but before we do that, we have to go in and type in the AMD, I just typed in AMD Prison Software, it came up and brought me to this page. So we just have to download that software because it's going to allow us to independently control everything with the software or maybe together i don't know yet but we're going to go in we're going to download it and then we're going to continue okay so in order to get all your rgb working after you've already got your case fans everything like that you're going to control all your rgb lighting for your system the way it was before your fans everything with the in this case the rgb fusion software or mystic light or whatever motherboard software you're using. After you've downloaded the AMD Wraith Prism software, it will allow you to use and change all these colors. So the one thing you do not need to do, plug in the USB, do not use the RGB. Okay, there, there's a, 
it's not if you want to use all the lighting effects don't do that so I'll show you the software here a little bit just to show you um, well I'll use the software I should say to show you that it's working so using the RGB fusion yeah, let's get that come up here in a sec so now I'm going to change it oh let's say let's make it yellow hey everything's gone yellow but our Wraith cooler did not so now we're going to open the Wraith Prism software and we're going to go to the ring LED and we're going to go and set it at yellow okay so that's that little ring that just goes around here then we go to the fan LED same thing change it to yellow now you can see it's changed now you can change the varying degrees of the yellow to make it brighter yeah, you can see that and the logo because right now it's green and same view choose your yellow and yeah, you want to make it brighter you can do that so let's go here and now click apply with your Wraith Prism software and you're good to go so that's how you go about changing independently from one to the other so you have your motherboard software that controls all your fans everything else your Wraith Prism is controlled from the plugging into your USB slot okay so you do not need to plug in the RGB cable that comes with it whatsoever all right so I think that works perfectly and just so you can see that I did change the colors here it's yellow and that pretty much shows the colors and uh, you see the temps and everything is working perfectly job successfully completed So I've been running the uh, CPU load test at 100% utilization. At idle, we're at 26 to 28 with the Wraith Prism cooler. And uh, our highs seem to be about 67 so far. And that's after, and it fluctuates anywhere from 62 to 67. And we've been doing it for about two and a half minutes. After five minutes, we'll see what it's at. And... Um, yeah, we'll have a pretty good base point for how it's going to perform, which uh, that seems to be typical. And considering that this is a pretty powerful CPU running at 63, that's a pretty good uh, range. Okay, at the password test pass, the five and a half minute mark, we seem to go around 63 and drop a little bit. And I think we had a couple of spikes there for some reason that hit about 69. So 100% uh, utilization that's pretty remarkable speaks a lot for this cooler and uh, I think that gives you a little bit of a viewpoint of how it's going to perform so all right everybody so if you like that video hit that like if you don't you know what to do um, I gotta say this case has two issues that cause me some going back and forth because I have RGB on the case so it was plugged into the RGB on the case and I didn't realize that plugging in the RGB from the Wraith Prism cooler to the other RGB theoretic sounds like it should work but it, it didn't so I just left the cable off completely downloaded the Wraith uh, Prism software once I've done that you can independently change all the colors in your system and then change your Wraith cooler to match it so it's just a couple different steps but it allows you complete control of what you're doing so hope that answers all the questions on not just the RGB, but the cooler. I showed the temps. Everything is running perfect. I'm very happy with this build. And uh, yeah. So think about subscribing. Think about hitting that bell for future notifications. Let me know what you think. If you got questions, fire them away. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Looking forward to seeing you back here. Bye.